This story is about Coyote, who is a trickster. They're also liars, and they're also always hungry. This is from the Cato tribe. So one day, Coyote was very hungry, and he said, I'm gonna trick some kind of animal so I can eat it. And he, went, he decided to walk through the woods. So he's walking through the woods, and he saw some possums up into a persimmon tree. So since he was very hungry, he decided to trick them. Coyote said, hey, throw me down a persimmon. The possums only laughed and said, we're not gonna give you any food because if we were on the ground, you would eat us. And they started throwing persimmon seeds at him. So he was very angry. One possum said, I'm just gonna tease Coyote. So that possum got out onto a, br a branch and said, oh, eat me, Coyote, eat me, eat me. But then the branch broke and the possum hit the ground and was like, oh no, I'm gonna be eaten. Coyote and possum then wrestled and wrestled and wrestled each other until finally the possum escaped and got away from Coyote. He ran into the woods to safety. Coyote was so mad and still hungry because coyotes are always hungry. He went into the woods and he saw three turkeys. And he said, what are those turkeys doing? Hmm, I'd like to eat a turkey. So he went over to the turkeys and said, what are you doing? One turkey, then old, old turkey said, well, we get on this burlap bag and we push each other down the hill and it's really, really fun. So Coyote thought, oh, so that's a bag. Yes, it is. Why don't all three of you get in the bag and I'll push you down the hill. It'll be so fun. So get into the bag. The turkeys aren't very smart. So they got into the bag, all three of them. Coyote jumped on the bag, closed it, captured the three turkeys. Oh, my dinner, finally. So he opened the bags, but those turkeys started flapping their wings and feathers were going everywhere and they flew away. He was so mad again. No dinner tonight for me, he said. So he went deeper into the woods and he saw the old turkey was on the ground. And being a liar and a coward, the coyote said, I won't eat you if you can fly away from me. So the turkey said, well, I can try. And being a trickster, coyote knew he would get tired. Well, just be sure you're flying over a flat prairie and I won't be able to catch you. So the turkey thought that's fair and started flying and flying and flying and Coyote was below him. Sure enough, being old, he got very tired and he fell from the sky. Coyote jumped on him and again, they wrestled and they wrestled and they wrestled, but the turkey was stronger and the turkey got away. Now, as the turkey flew away, a feather came out of the turkey's tail, attached itself to the back of the coyote's neck and it was stuck there but the coyote didn't know it was a feather. He thought there was somebody behind him and he thought it's a warrior who's gonna, gonna catch me, maybe eat me or hurt me, so I have to run. So the coyote started running and he ran and he ran thinking that feather was a warrior chasing him. So to this day, if you see coyotes, they're almost always looking afraid and their eyes are wild and whenever they run, they're always looking back. So the next time you see a coyote, I bet you its eyes are big and wild and it's looking behind him because it thinks a warrior's chasing him always, but it was just a turkey feather.